Hey everyone, what's up? I am back with another video where I'll be talking about how you can organize your work and your life as a graphic designer. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. Welcome back guys. What are you guys up to? How's life? Is it becoming difficult, easy or lazy? Let me know. So um, earlier this year in February, I was introduced with a new software that is Notion. I knew a little bit about the software earlier, but I never used it. But for my college projects, I started realizing that Notion is a really good software which I should explore. And of course, I started exploring, but not to the full extent. I thought this is the best time to organize all my stuff. So then I started with Notion. I uh, started looking at tutorials on YouTube and many other places. And I found that it's so much effective if I am able to organize the way people are doing it. Now, as we all know, the topic of this YouTube video is how you can organize, but the basics because I am doing it as a two part series for this video. Even I am starting with Notion as a new person um, and I don't want to show you something that didn't work for me. So I have started with the basics of Notion. These are the steps that I followed. So let me begin with showing you the basic steps to organize. The first thing that I did was start writing because when I start writing, I can clear out all the cluttered thoughts that are coming there in my mind and I can put that into the paper. Once I put it into the paper, I know that I will get a list of things to organize uh, in the form of bullet points maybe. And the second thing is I will get a clear direction as to where and what are the things that I need to divide into. But then I realized I do not want to complicate things. I don't want to show too many sections. So what I did was I just divided into two main categories and one variable category. Now let me explain this. So two main categories would be the work and the personal, right? And the one variable category would be, it, it depends on what is your immediate goal. What is it that you want to accomplish like immediately or in a month or in a week or something. So when you have one variable category, what happens in that case is it keeps you fresh. I mean, you can keep updating it. You won't see the monotonous things every day. So you'll have uh, something or the other coming up every now and then, every week or every month so that you can change the variable category. So I did that and I came up with this. So I got some of the bullet points that I wrote and um, this is how I converted it into the work thing, which has all the client lists. It has the project lists. Um, it has all the invoices, meetings, to-do lists, and uh, many other things. Also my college work and personal projects. Um, and not to forget the YouTube channel that I've just started. And of course, in the personal, we know that health uh, expenses, groceries, daily reminders, weekly reminders, we forget a lot of things in our daily life. So it's important to put them somewhere. And of course, all the inspirations and the self-learning that I've been going through, I need to put them into the personal section. Then the third thing is the variable one. I am currently focusing on designing my own portfolio, which is online, a PDF, uh, and also developing and putting all the projects in my social media profiles because uh, it's important for me now uh, before my second semester starts, which is starting in September. So with these three categories that are ready with me, I started with Notion. And uh, Notion, just to give you a little brief, uh, it's an app, it's there for Mac, Windows, uh, for iPhone and everywhere. And you can use that to create databases, Kanban boards, um, you can put reminders, you can set up your calendars, you can create different notes using pages. Uh, and it's, it's really interesting. The moment you start understanding the user interface of Notion, it's very easy and simple. And I think uh, you'll be good to go.
Okay, so let me show you what are the things that I've been working on in Notion. As you can see, I've created the three categories that is work, personal, and portfolio. Inside work, I have the three main things that is my company, my YouTube channel, and my college projects. After that, there's calendar that I need to keep updating, the social media handles, as well as the expense list. So these were just the initial bullet points that I could get out from uh, the writing that I did. So let's see what's there inside Equipoise. You'll see that there are a list of projects here. And uh, of course, there it's in a table form so that I can add even more columns and even more details. Uh, this is the tag section where I'll just specify the kind of work that it is. And uh, if we go inside one of the projects, we can see that uh, I've just outlined the main points inside each project that it should have. This is going to be a template, which of course I will be updating now and then. So heading back, uh, we can see the YouTube channel now. Uh, in this, I have just made a list of videos that I'll be working on or I have worked on. And uh, the last video, of course, how to find your niche. Um, I have just created a small template because I have the content ready with me. So I can just uh, pull it in here as well as I can understand that uh, how I can organize stuff. So here I can just write the title, the small description, uh, what goes inside the description box, all the content that will go inside the video. Uh, of course, the important links as well as the tags. And the most important that is the social media after launching. So what are the kind of messaging or images that I'll be putting up? So this was the YouTube channel. Then if we go to the college projects, you'll see all the subjects that are there here. And inside each subject, of course, uh, for example, in studio, I can just go in and I can see what are the projects that I'm working on. So uh, this is just a very basic layout that I have created for me right now. As I said b uh, before, I didn't want to complicate things. And uh, if I start with just the basic amount of information, then it's on me how I make it or take it to an advanced level. And that's what the next video is going to be about. It's going to be the advanced uh, version of whatever I have organized. Let's go to personal. So in personal, we see that uh, there's the general, there's self-learning, there's inspirations, uh, the graphic design knowledge that I need to have. Also, some of the reading lists and books that I have to read, as well as uh, I am planning to migrate, so my migration plan, as well as some important notes from Notion about Notion, because uh, it's new for me, so if I forget something or if there's something new that I don't know, so I can just add it on, in this. And of course, the important that is the planner, the calendar planner. So let's see what's there inside self-learning. Um, I have just made a list of content that I like and uh, I, I've attached the URL to it and also added tags so, I, so that I can easily find uh, some things that probably I don't remember, but uh, I can get back to them easily. And um, let's see what's there in inspirations. There are so many new inspirations or there are so many people who inspire me. So of course I have put those names as well as some of the URLs or the links that, um, you know, that take me to the articles or YouTube videos. And also some of the awesome unique inspirations like illustrators or designers or, uh, you know, logo designers, for example, or even, um, uh, even photographers. So these are some of the unique inspirations and I and of course this list is never ending. There are so many other people that I need to add in this. Uh, so I'll be doing that soon. Uh, and then the books, of course, uh, the amount of books that I need to read. Um, I have shown it in the form of like uh, which kind of a file it is. Who are the authors for that? What is the status? Have I read it? Have I bought it? Everything. So this is the list of books. Now next, let's see what's there in the reading list. So in reading list, I just have a list of uh, websites or URLs that I need to go through or read because I found them interesting. So well, how you can do this is if you go to Google Chrome and uh, for example, I'll just open this URL and there is a extension for Google Chrome that is Notion where you can just uh, save the page the moment you hit save, uh, it comes in the list. 
and that's very interesting and if I want to check the link I can always click on this link and it will take me to the page so this is what reading list is all about um, now let's see what's there in the portfolio section of course the website that I have to design the PDF portfolio also the social media handles where I have to upload all my projects and the job offers that are there uh, that are being offered by different companies around the world so this is just a small list that I have created and it's extremely basic I know that because I want to try it out and show you what uh, it'll be as an advanced level so now you all know uh, how the basic step I took it as and in the next week I'll be talking about how we can do it in an advanced level so of course we all know that it is very difficult to start extremely in an advanced level in the beginning so that's why it's important to start with the basics so to do that I would just say set up a reminder uh, a daily reminder where you can write that you have to update Notion and um, I use Google Tasks and it's very easy for that so today we saw that to start with the basics of organizing we have to start writing we have to convert the writing into bullet cards then we have to create a basic framework in Notion and set up a reminder so start writing and exploring from today and I will see you all in the next video where I'll be talking about the advanced techniques of organizing your work and life using Notion. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to this channel if you want to see more exciting videos coming up this year. Thank you so much. Bye bye.